Did you still do me? Thank you, Mr. President. My name is uh, Senator Victor Ume, OFR. I represent the people of Anambra Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, this Nigerian Defense Industrial Corporation is a very important corporation in this country. I recall that in 2018, Senator Kiari, now Minister for Agriculture, introduced a similar, a similar bill in the Senate. And uh, we discussed it very exhaustively that the NBIC is supposed to be alive to its responsibilities for its establishment a long time ago. Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. I am Senator Victor Ume. I represent Anambra Central Senatorial District. Arise to also support this bill to establish the Defense Research and Development Bureau, um, heavily brought by Senator Kerry. Mr. President, Senator Ben Bruce has said so much, and uh, I want to add my voice that without research, we will not be able to make any progress in this country. And in the area of defense, there is a saying that uh, necessity is the mother of all inventions. The references made by Senator Bruce is one that is very touchy and very uh, important for us to reflect on. If we were able, as a result of the Civil War, we were able to develop so many things to fight that war uh, for a reasonable time, it is a tragic mistake for the government of Nigeria to have allowed the scientists and the great ingenious people that developed these weapons of warfare with which the different Biafra survived for some time. Because if they had invested in the development of those uh, inventions, Nigeria would have been exporting uh, war missiles, warheads by now. But those who were able to go through those things to develop those bombs, Ujuku, bunker, all kinds of things, they have been left to die. And we are still spending so much money to buy these things from outside. To buy these things from outside. Nigeria can invest money to develop its armaments with which to defend this country. The insurgents are terrorizing the country and the only reliance the country has is to go and buy uh, maybe to cannon aircraft and things developed by other countries. You know. So we need to invest in this type of research and development so that Nigeria can be competent and capable to defend and protect itself. So I support this bill by Sveto Kiari so that over time, Nigeria will become world power, like others. We can be, if we take it seriously. Thank you very much. This corporation ought to be producing for us now weapons of defense and other armaments the country will need to become a strong and virile nation. If they had been doing their work, Mr. President, they would have uh, been able to support us with what we use to fight insecurity in Nigeria. The NDIC has been sleeping over its mandate. And now that the House of Representatives has worked on a way of reinvigorating the corporation to ensure that it will deliver on its core mandate, uh, it is important that we support the House of Reps and give them the necessary concurrence. But, like Senator Onawo stated in his contribution, this 
clause by clause consideration will be hampered by shortness of time to appreciate what they have done in the House of Reps to enable us for an obtain time put the NDIC to its proper frame and focus so that it can help this country in developing our own weapons and armaments. This insecurity that's dotting the country everywhere. If NDIC had been doing their job, I'm sure that uh, would have been able to have things to use to fight insecurity. I also contributed previously that the type of thing we're expecting from NDIC will be missiles. They can develop missiles. They can do that. So if it is possible, President, to give us more time to look at the arrangement of these clauses and see if there's anything we can do to make it uh, more effective. Very good. But if we can go on today, I'm still ready to. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes. Senator. This is Senator Omer. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is uh, Senator Victor Ume, OFR. I represent the people of Anambra Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, this Nigerian Defense Industrial Corporation is a very important corporation in this country. I recall that in 2018, Senator Kiari, now Minister for Agriculture, introduced a similar, a similar bill in the Senate. And uh, we discussed it very exhaustively that the NBIC is supposed to be alive to its responsibilities for its establishment a long time ago. This corporation ought to be producing for us now weapons of defense and other armaments the country will need to become a strong and virile nation. If they had been doing their work, Mr. President, they would have uh, been able to support us with what we use to fight insecurity in Nigeria. The NDIC has been sleeping over its mandate. And now that the House of Representatives has worked on a way of reinvigorating the corporation to ensure that it will deliver on its core mandate, uh, it is important that we support the House of Reps and give them the necessary concurrence. But like Senator Onawo stated in his contribution, this clause by clause consideration will be hampered by shortness of time to appreciate what they have done in the House of Reps to enable us for an obtain time put the NDIC to its proper frame and focus so that it can help this country in developing our own weapons and armaments. This insecurity that's dotting the country everywhere. If NDIC had been doing their job, I'm sure that uh, would have been able to have things to use to fight insecurity. I also contributed previously that the type of thing we're expecting from NDIC will be missiles. They didn't develop missiles. They can do that. So if it is possible, President, to give us more time to look at the arrangement of these clauses and see if there's anything we can do to make it uh, more effective. Very good. But if we can go on today, I'm still ready to. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes. Senator.